think I'm good now. I think I'm good now. I think I had me a little outage. Because I came back and my stream was down and I didn't even realize it and I couldn't get back on. I was hoping nothing bad was, uh, was going on. I told people I was going to be back in like a little bit and that happened. Anyway, we got to go see the teacher. Now, where do I start? I guess I should start with me. To put it plainly, I've had spiritual powers ever since I was little. Everyone at Bethel calls me the Saint. Bethel, Japan lost a lot of its strength in a battle many years ago. So these days, even students like me are helping out. It's the same for me too. But never mind that. Is Tokyo still okay? Not long ago, we were in what looked like ruins. And they were crawling with demons. It was almost as if the city had been destroyed. If I told you the Tokyo you'd been living in this whole time was a lie, would you believe me? Why she looking? You got a cock eye. Huh? Eighteen years ago, something happened in the Chiyoda ward of Tokyo that suddenly erased the city from the rest of Japan. Its population of over ten million people was wiped out. In a matter of minutes, lost to the netherworld. What are you talking about, Isonokami? We've been living in Tokyo as far as I can tell. You want to try explaining that? The Tokyo you're referring to is an act of God. Through his miracle, Tokyo and its people were perfectly recreated. No one suspected a thing. You mean everything up until now? It's all been fake? As I said, the real Tokyo was destroyed 18 years ago. You saw it when you slipped into the netherworld. That's impossible. Oh. The real Tokyo has been completely overrun by demons. So the netherworld is the real As Tokyo. If one Tokyo wasn't enough, the demons now covet the other, and all for our souls. Though we are few. That is what the Bethel Japanese branch fights to protect. Who the hell are you? I hope the saint has cleared things up for you. Apologies for dragging you into this. Hey, uh, haven't I seen you somewhere before? My name is Koshimizu. I'm in charge here, in addition to being Japan's Prime Minister. Wait, as in Director Koshimizu? One of the top-ranking officials in the Japanese branch? He and the Prime Minister are the same person? Indeed. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Atsuta. Now that you've been made aware of what happens to the real Tokyo, it's best I enlighten you as to the true state of the world. To put it plainly, the forces of order and chaos are currently clashing behind the scenes, locked in an ongoing battle unbeknownst to mankind. Demons seek human souls. If given the chance, they would flood the real world in an instant. They are extremely dangerous. That's why Bethel Japan is dedicated to protecting Tokyo and keeping the demons at bay. The demons uh -huh. are relentless, however. And the unfortunate truth of the matter is that we're woefully lacking in manpower. In fact, Bethel's strength is so short of the mark, we've been forced to rely on students such as Isonokami and Atsuda for help. No way! Is that something I could help with too, Mr. Prime Minister? You mean protecting Tokyo? Yeah, I'll do whatever I can. Does I? Look, I'm borderline useless at school. 
and I'm always making trouble for other people. But even a guy like me wants to be someone people can turn to. Just like the honor students. Thank you. I admire your courage. I've heard about you. So you fused with Algami, is that it? I'll be asking for your cooperation as well. Sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. Oh, please give me an option to say no. I never signed up for this. I understand, but you have no choice in the matter. Oh, shit. I'm thankful the proto fiends returned to Cut this safe. game off right now. The whole storyline is finished. I've never heard of it fusing with a human before. I played a role in Algami's creation myself. I'll be running a variety of tests later. Excuse you? Algami, I'd like to examine your memory data. Make your way to the research facility later today. Understood. I'll visit with the rest of you some other time. For now, I want you to go home and get some rest. Sir! And lastly, Yuzuru Atsuda. Well done in coming back unharmed. Your summoning skills must have improved. I'll be sure to grant you an even stronger demon companion next time. Thank you, sir. So I guess talking to these people. Uh, I'm going to be fighting alongside all. A big reason I don't do all, even though my parents aren't divorced. I don't really care what you got to say. Dad, protecting Tokyo. I just want to know if I'm going to get something for this dialogue. I am not. So all that talking is useless. Yo. Are we heading back to the other Tokyo? Yo. They're looking out for Tokyo. Yeah, so why not take some time to hang for a bit? Oh, they want us to talk. I'm glad we're both all right. Let's work together to keep Tokyo safe. Hmm. I see Algami has come back as well, unexpected but unfortunate right. nonetheless. I'll make, a, I'll make arrangements so that you and the others may be granted entry here as members of Bethel. That will allow you to access the terminal and use the virtual trainer. The virtual trainer device is at the Tokyo Dive building in the Netherworld. I believe you've been there before. That is all. You should take it easy and rest up for the day. The virtual trainer allows you to challenge past foes in either a single fight or a series of battles. When taking on a series of battles, there is an optional challenge mode where enemies will grow stronger and each time you defeat them. Each time you defeat them. Regardless, ooh, regardless of the kind of battle, defeat will still result and the game over, so it's recommended that you save before using a virtual trainer. Okay, we got Minato battles. Right. I should apologize for hiding the fact that I was involved with Bethel. I didn't want to get you involved, but I also didn't think the situation would become as dire as it is now. That's your fault. We should probably head back. We've got school tomorrow. Should be good enough. I don't need to tilt it no more. No more than that. <laughs> That's why I'm really glad you're okay after all that. Okay, okay it's stretching. Hmm. Hmm. I know what you mean, but it's a lot to deal with. All this stuff about demons and gods and weird supernatural conflicts. I feel a little overloaded too. But all these gods across the world are working together to keep the peace. So let's keep what happened yesterday a secret, okay? For now, we can get back to being plain old high school students. See ya. And we see you around. Okay, whatever. I don't have to talk to these people, do I? I'm only here to hit the books.
I can't stand her. How long do you think until she cracks? <laughs> I can't wait to see her break down in tears. I got a strong feeling they, they're gonna make a demon out of that girl. So Hori Itsukishima. I can't take this anymore. Why me? Why is this happening? It's all their fault. I wish they'd all just disappear. Who's there? Oh, oh. It's late somebody was playing. Okay. Oh, my brother told me what happened yesterday. I wonder if she knows or anything. Tao returned after that, so we went back together. Thank you for helping my brother. Oh, that reminds me. Are you free after school today? What is it? Well, I was just, um, hoping you could help me with something. You remember that dream Tao was talking about the other day? It reminded me of this weird dream I've been having since I was little. A prince from another country comes specifically for me. Oh, even back then, the idea was... Kind of embarrassing to me. Oh, but the prince wasn't riding the typical white horse and all that. He sailed a boat through the night sky. Strange. That's a demon. It, it's weird. On the days when I have that dream, I always wake up feeling a little less sick than usual. Ever since I remembered it, I, I can't seem to get the prince out of my head. And after a while, well, I had this thought. What if this isn't just a dream? What if it's real? Or it's some kind of, I don't know, a vision? Maybe it's trying to tell me something important. But I don't know the first thing about interpreting dreams, so I'm not sure what to do. If any, doesn't our school have an occult research club or something? If you happen to know anyone in that club, could you ask them about my dream for me? Uh, yeah. Some quests have restrictions on when they can be accepted and completed. Once the main story progresses to a certain point, these quests are, can no longer be completed. Therefore, it's recommended that you prioritize them. You will receive a warning message when accepting these quests. Prince of her dreams. Oh, thank you so much. Just so you know, though, I have a lot of, um, bad days, health-wise. I end up having to take time off from school sometimes. If you hear anything, please let me know as soon as possible. I'm sorry I'm imposing on you so much. I guess we just better save. I'm gonna save once here, and I'm gonna save the second one right here. So if I mess up or if I go past the, the date or something, Morning practice is killer. Uh, I'm looking for that. What is it? I want the a prince. So, so I can't help you. We do have someone that knows all about old and fairy tales. I usually see him after school on the second floor. Maybe you should check there. Okay. Morning, man. Nice. After school, Me? second floor. I stayed in Bethel. Got this big lecture about how this demon summoning stuff works. And the Bethel guys even said I've got this natural talent for it. <laughs> can you believe that? I'm a demon summoner. That means I can protect people. Like a real hero. So, I'm gonna give this all I got. Anyhow, sorry to bug you. <laughs> See ya. After school, second floor. Yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah, there you So you know, classroom is on the second floor, right? Oh man, your class is in 3A. Next to the stairs. It must be nice to have a classroom so close by. Alright, so after school, second floor.
I'll rise. Good morning, sir. Okay, that's it for today. All rise. Thank you, sir. Okay, after school, second floor. He's around somewhere. We got to talk to a guy on second floor. So we're on this, we're on the floor already. Come on, man. Oh, hey. Look, can I talk to you about something? Uh, not right now, just... Uh, I don't... Thanks. Okay. But I can't really talk about it at school. Maybe on the dorm roof later tonight. Yeah, whatever, girl. Come on, man. You, you, oh, you, you know. Get on a side mission. It's the second floor. It's probably, probably him down here. What is it? Well, you come to the right guy. Change your information. Hmm. Print the, uh, the first thing to mind is Sin, the Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian god on the moon. But there are plenty of other lunar gods from across the world. The prince might actually be a big hint that rules out any goddesses at least. Hey, you know. Speaking of which, you mentioned a girl having this dream gets sick a lot, right? Supposedly on the days when she has this dream, she tends to feel a bit better. It's pretty similar to the story about Khonshu, the Egyptian god of the moon. He helps cure a princess suffering from a <laughs> disease. The name Khonshu itself means traveler, and ancient Egyptians believe the movement of the moon marked his passage across the hmm. night sky. Based on everything you told me, I'm pretty confident that he's a god that you're looking for. I hope that helps. So we gotta go back downstairs. Oh, in my damn way. Come on, man. Oh, that was it? We just supposed to get the information on Kashi? Oh, um, hi there. Who was that? Oh, Itsukishima? She was hurt, so I just wanted to help a little. The nurse is out for the day, so I just did what I could. Look, um... Do you know how Itsukishima's been getting these injuries? I don't know how to say this, but those bruises couldn't all be accidents. There ain't no damn accidents. Some girls been whooping her ass. Help. I hope she's okay. They've been beating her up. She's been getting bullied. I wish I could help. Did you get it? Mm. Kansu. That's amazing. Well, I never knew Egyptian mythology had a god like that. So his name is Konsu? This is so exciting. I didn't expect you'd find a myth that matched my dream so closely. So he saves the ailing princess and then returns to the moon. This feels like oh, a lot to take in. I wonder what it's like in Egypt. My health's always been too fragile to travel anywhere too far. So I've never been outside Tokyo. I bet the sun feels brighter there. I can't even imagine how the air must feel and smell. But to me, it may as well be another world. Wait, 
Something feels kind of weird. In the story, Konsu saves the princess of another country, right? But I'm not a princess, not even close. So why am I seeing a prince from the moon? Then again, I'm probably overthinking this anyway. It's just a dream after all. Right. Demons aren't real. It seems really interesting. Maybe I'll check out some books on Egyptian mythology next time I go to the library. Thank you for everything. This isn't much, but you deserve something for all. Three can of jelly. Side of my damn nose. I'm blocking it down way. Blocking it down way. I can even go upstairs. She can get down with no problem. They're just being assholes to me. Can I get down the stairs? I can. So do we have to wait? of the moon is so beautiful my brother recorded oh wow it. she can talk about sailor moon I've watched it so many times by now she's she talking about sailor moon i can't believe that's a reference in this game the prince of the moon princess of the moon maybe i'm wrong on that yeah I gotta go all the way to the east exit of the train station and then walk all the way to the east coast. I guess that's just how it is in this city. So how the hell do I leave? This is the classroom, this is the doctor's office. Oh no, 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 we don't, we don't wanna do that. What's up, Kai? Uh, where the hell are you? How in the hell am I supposed to get out of here? Shimagami Tensei. I can't even go down here. Yeah, here we go. The dining hall. Janitor's closet. School exit? Nope. This way. Hello. Yesterday was eventful, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I taught Dazai how to summon demons afterwards. We picked it up fast, and Bethel certainly isn't complaining. I just don't know if it was right. He was an ordinary student with an ordinary life, and now I've drawn him into this conflict. He's a soldier in this war now. I chose to fight of my own volition. But Dazai, not just him, I dragged you into this as well. How the hell did you drag me into it? More powerful. Maybe I could have handled this on my own. But if I want to be stronger, I'll have to do my part on the front lines. Especially now that we have new power on our side. Let's both keep at it. 
We'll make sure Tokyo stays safe. Yeah, I guess. Tokyo gonna stay safe because I'm gonna be the one saving it. Wait a minute, we gotta wait till them. She. Oh, girl said she wanted to meet us on the rooftop. I don't think we made it there yet. 